Good morning, party people. Oh, welcome to the breakdown. With Nathan Johnny, does anyone else do that face when you have your first sip of coffee in the morning? Have you already had one today? We're not creeps. Oh, are you a creep? They're all going to say yes. The other yeah. day, we put up about you drinking a fuck ton of milk, and they're all like, oh, pro milk, pro Johnny. Oh, really? I didn't see that yet. Yeah. Okay. Too many people. Yeah. Everyone having milk before bed? I like you guys less and less. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, that first sip of coffee in the morning is just, that was my first sip. Wait. My face is normal. Oh. I mean, as normal as my face. Well, maybe you just don't love coffee enough. Maybe I love coffee too much. But one thing I do know that we love the same amount, which is a lot, is Straight From The Path. I was doing that for the song title. Oh, guillotine. Well, we don't love guillotines. So, yeah, come on. It, is it guillotine or guillotine? I believe it's guillotine. Guillotine. It's French, right? For yoga. For yoga, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we have had to hold off on this one um, because we've just been busy boys, you know. But look, Stray are uh, one of our faves. They are absolute guns at what they do. I think of them as being like the new generation rage. I think again, a lot of people can feel that way. For those of you playing <laughs> <home>. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Yeah. Oh, and they've got rage too. Um, do. Yeah, so this is their new track, Guillotine, of Unified. So, again, Unified. Yeah. There's going to be the next three songs we do are all of Unified. That should say something about that record label right now. Australia represent. Anyway. Headphones on, we'll get into this, and then we'll uh, keep talking smack the whole time. And you guys, before the song starts, are going to quickly like and subscribe and check out the merch and stuff. Have we got any merch? Neither of us are wearing merch. God oh, damn it. Uh, We're the worst. Oh. Court said to me the other day, she's like, do you wear your own merch in every video? I was like, no. No. But we try to, and then we forget. Mm. But then she thought that was a bit self-indulgent. Do you guys think it's self-indulgent that we wear our own merch? Comment Should board. we just wear nothing? Three, two, one. Oh. We're not messing around. Those drums, man. That's the speed on him. That's fucking freak. Guitar tone is incredible. This is a really rad build up. that you're a guy that knows so much about music you are very in tune and you understand all the little synchronicities of stuff but the queen gets oh symbols <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you're so like, on you you're like oh thing. the syncopation of this and the way this is got that timing there and then that comment says oh symbols <laughs> um, I am pretty symbol <laughs> very good it's because you're always crashing um, <laughs> I'm Love this, a bit different to what we've had from them in the past. Yeah, it still sounds like them, but it's a new vibe. Yeah, new vibe. I'm take it to the minute mark here. Let's go. Oh, I put up the dictionary somehow. <laughs> cool. This is great content. What just happened? Uh, I don't know. Cool. Let's try that again. Oh, that's the straight <laughs> Ooh. 
Those little, like... Yeah, what is that? It's... I don't... Is that a pedal? Is that an effect? Yeah, uh, yeah. And, like, it's very... That's where you get a lot of the Rage Against the Machine comparisons as well yes. because Tom Morello was huge on that sort of stuff. And I think that Tom... Virtuoso. Yeah. Um, Tom does it really well as well, like, because it's not overused... Uh, and there's not that many bands that do it that well and use it in the same way. Yeah, it adds flavour without being over the top. Mm. Also, the percussionist song is outstanding. To, yeah, Craig is an Simples. absolute... <laughs> Simples. He's an incredible drummer. We'll talk more about him at the end. Music is me eaten by you stupid fuck. Oh, that breakdown. ones to shy away from a little bit of a politically infused debate, are they? Discussion. And I like it. I think they do it well. Yeah, yeah, that they was, do it very well. That was fun. That was heavy. A little fluffy thing flying around here, that whole song. Um, it's a fairy. That's what it was. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a little bit of a different vibe to what we've had from them in recent years. Still very much sounded like them. Yeah. I enjoyed that a lot. Yeah, it was so good. So aggressive. Very aggressive. Uh, talk on the percussion because that was uh, the, the standout for me. Yeah, look, Craig Reynolds is... See, I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's like underrated, but I feel like he doesn't get talked enough, about enough. I feel like with a band like Straight From The Path, the focus tends to become on the vocalist. Yeah, also like the riffs because he does all that yeah. cool stuff. Yeah. Um, and I think just because it's such a chaotic, groove-based, hardcore, um, maybe the drums don't get enough attention. But he's a phenomenal drummer. I love I mean, watching his problems play through. So. See, the thing is, like, he, the drumming is intense and just on the whole way through. But listening to that, like where I said, Sam Barrels, um, he does so yeah, much. I was looking at the top comments, the, the top three are all about drums. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, their last drummer was great, but Craig has brought a whole new element. He just, his nuances, I actually watched a video with him maybe a year or so ago about how he writes drums and how he writes his fills and stuff, and mm. it was really fucking interesting, and yeah, like, it was, yeah, there's someone who loves watching drum videos, it was really interesting. Um, film clip was cool. Yeah, it was. It, it was Pretty also, visceral. yeah, super visceral, but very, like, as you said, they're not someone to shy away from political commentary, mm. and they kind of like show that through there. If you read through the lyrics, which are below there, you can kind of get an idea of what they're talking about. But I mean, I'm assuming, like, I haven't, read. yeah, I haven't read the lyrics or I didn't get all of them just then. But I'm assuming it's got to do on the back of like you know, given the money and the imagery that we saw, maybe the the higher powers making money from the last two years of the pandemic rather than greed. We call that corporate greed. Corporate mm. greed. Which, you know, we're not going to get into that discussion, but it is an important one. We just want to be all about the fun stuff. And that song was fun. It yeah, was that heavy. It was wicked. What did you guys think of that? Have you listened to Straight From The Path before? Are there a band that gets regular rotation in your roster? Say that three times fast. Regular rotation in your roster, regular rotation in your roster, regular rotation in your roster. Well done. Yeah, as a vocalist. Well, <laughs> 
We'll see you guys later. Thanks, guys. <laughs>